Hi, it's Luke here and I'm creator of the Astronomy package for Meteor. And this is an introduction video tutorial for Astronomy. So what is Astronomy? Astronomy is a model layer for your Meteor collections. It can be called Object Document Mapping System. It allows you to map documents, plain JavaScript documents coming from Mongo collections, to instances of classes you define. It gives you a lot of benefits, like, let's say, defining helpers and Meteor methods just right inside your schema, so you can keep all the code in one place. It also casts your values coming from forms, so you don't have to do it manually. It also validates your documents on save, so it will keep your documents consistent. It's also very extensible. It comes with events, behaviors and modules systems, so you can hook almost in every process happening in astronomy. It comes also with many more features I will talk more about in future videos. So let's jump into editor and see how to use astronomy in some simple example. So let's create a new Meteor product. It will take some time. Let's enter directory and open Atom. First, we'll remove all unnecessary code that we won't use. Okay, let's now add astronomy to our project. Okay, now let's create imports directory where we put all the files we'll be importing and inside classes directory where we will put all the classes. So we'll create user class, we'll put it in the user.js file and let's import class from Meteor Yagi Astronomy and we will define basic class user class create and schema definition we'll export class to not forget about it later we have to give a class a name so we'll call it user and that's it for now when we save and run our material application Okay, application run, and let's open the console. And right now, user class won't be visible. So we have to not only import it on the client, And so, yeah, let's import it from imports classes user. And it's still not enough. Because user class is now only local to this file. So let's just for demonstration purpose, make it visible globally on the client.
Okay, as you can see, we have class defined. So let's create a new document using the class constructor. And let's investigate what we have here. As you can see, it's just empty object. So let's add some fields to this class. To do it, we have to define fields property. And here we can have first name, and this is the field name, and we provide here the type. We can make it string, number, date, or whatever type we create. This is a shortcut. We can also provide here object with the type property with the string constructor. So we will just use this syntax. So first and last name and let's go to the console and see Okay, let's create a new user and as you can see we have first and last name fields and they are undefined. So let's fill those fields with some values. There are several ways of setting fields values. We can do it on construction so we can provide object And as you can see right now, we have values set on construction, but we can also set values directly. Change made. Or we can also use set method which has far more functionality, but we'll talk about the, it later. And let's check, yes, we have new name. So let's save our documents into collection. To do that, we have to create users collection. So we create a new directory in the imports called collections, and we'll put here users.js file. And right here we have to import Mongo from Meteor Mongo and create users collection new Meteor sorry new Mongo collection users and we have to export it and right now we have to import it in the user class. So let's import it from uh, users from collections users. Let's see if there is no error. No, everything works properly. And we have to provide collections property in our schema. And from now, we linked our class with the user's collection, so we can store instances of user class inside user's collection. So let's see, let's create new document and see what we have here right now. As you can see, we have two extra properties. One is ID, which will store ID of a document, and private as is new property, which just is a helper that tells if a document is new instance not already stored in collection or documents fetched from collection which was saved before. So let's try saving our document. And as you can see, we have error. It says that there is no astronomy 
insert material, material method. Why is that? We only imported our class in the client main.js file, so it's only visible on the client, but we also need to import it on the server. So let's do it. And let's do it again. As you can see now, there is a different error. Okay, but why you have to import user class on the server? When you invoke save method, it will actually execute meteor method to perform save on the client and on the server. And as we only imported user class on the client, this method is only available on the client. And of course we could automatically define this method on the server, but you may provide as the second argument of the collections collection constructor connection object which can come from any different material server. So you still have to import user class on every server that you are connecting to. So that's why we are not doing this automatically and forcing users to do it manually. Okay, but right now we have different error. We can't invoke this method on the client. And that's because we have security turned on. It's similar to having insecure package removed from your Meteor project. So let's add new property, secured force, which will turn off security for now. It's not recommended to do it right now, but we'll just do it for demonstration purpose. And let's try saving the document one more time. As you can see, everything works right now properly. The save method returned ID of a document. And when we perform save one more time, it will return different value. Right now it's update operation. So it returned number of documents that were affected by the save. So it's very similar to insert and update Mongo operations. So let's see how to modify document. We'll change first name to look and perform save. It returned one. So one document was affected by this operation. We can find our document by using our class constructor and the same as in Mongo collections using find or find one method. So I will just write find one to re return one document that we saved. Now let's remove document. For that we have remove method. And when you perform user that find one one more time, you will see that it's undefined, no documents in collection. So let's try finding it back again and saving it. And we'll display this document right here in our template. So for that we have to add helper to our body template. So template body helpers and we'll call it user and we'll just return user that find one now in the template we have to use user first name and user last name As you can see, it displayed values properly.
Now let's change our user document save and you can see that value was changed okay now let's introduce some helper we do it by providing helpers property in the schema and we provide full name helper which will just return concatenation of two strings first and last name we will use ECMAScript string templates here so we have to return this first name and this last name the this context is a document we are invoking our helper on so let's save it and modify our template to just get user full name and as you can see everything works properly we can also use it here full name and it works okay this is it for now and if you want more tutorials like this about all the features in astronomy give it a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and see you soon in the next tutorial